there. This is Emily from the First Colony Branch Library asking you once again to paint with me. Uh, today we'll be making a fantasy tree and the colors you'll need today are yellow, purple, blue, white, red, orange, and black. So I hope you have a great time and you feel encouraged and ready to get creative. Let's go. Let's get started. All right. So what I like to do before when we start this painting is to divide my canvas in the middle with white. So it's barely noticeable, but you can kind of tell it's there. Yeah, I'd say it's about half. It doesn't have to be perfectly in half. Just close enough. All right. So on the left side, oh no, we will cover the canvas in yellow. Probably just going to speed this up for you. That way you're not watching me cover an entire canvas or half of a canvas in yellow. So then now we're going to have to clean our brush really well just because the next, the other side of the, the other side of the canvas, we are going to paint that blue and yellow and blue make green. So I do not need it to be green. Just clean that brush really well. Now that I feel like it's sufficiently clean, time to go in onto the other side and use blue. I'm using that ultramarine blue again. So I'm gonna paint this side blue and speed this footage up so you can we can get back to the other part of the painting. Now that, <clears throat> now that your canvas is half yellow and half blue, we're going to let it dry and then we will start adding in our details. If you could tell that, that, that this is going to be our sunny side, this will be our nighttime, so daytime, nighttime. And we're back. Even though the blue still probably looks a little wet on the screen, that's okay because we're just going to focus on this side for right now. <clears throat> so, we're going to take some of our orange, just a very little bit. We don't want too much on our brush. And we're going to come in. and add accent to our daytime sky. We're not trying to cover it completely. We're just adding accent here and there. And even some of my yellow is still a little wet, which is absolutely fine, because then that's gonna make some pleasant blending. Another beautiful thing about paintings like this, where they're kind of fantasy, is that there is no right or wrong when it comes to creativity. You can design it as you see fit. I'm gonna add just a little bit more over in this area, just kind of thicken it up a bit because I am planning on putting our sun here. Or my sun. 
the sun. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. And now I'm gonna go in with my red. And I'm going to create just a kind of area where our connection between the day and night meet. We're not trying to do anything super fancy right now, just laying some groundwork down. You can bring that forward into your day. Make sure a little bleeds over into the nighttime. <laughs> it's so interesting talking. The daytime going into the nighttime. While this is still a little, little wet, we're going to go ahead and go into our purple. Have, and it's okay if it mixes a little bit with the red that's already on your brush. You don't have to clean your brush too much for this because we're just trying to kind of create some form of connection between the two. There will be another connection in the form of a tree, but that's gonna come later. This one's a little more simplistic as far as colors and accents go than the uh, Starry Night. But it doesn't mean it's less beautiful. Just gonna add a little bit of red. tiny strokes in here and you can design you can keep this a hard line if you want I prefer it just a little more blended that is a personal preference but the connection between the the day and the night that can be however you see fit fluffy or you can make your clouds more line like I like to do a mix of of the two create some fluffies and some lines I am however going to create a big white spot here for our our sun and I'll probably go over that with some yellow. And some of the orange is blending, which looks really nice. There we go. Sun. So now I'm gonna create some more fluffies.
I do love a good fluffy cloud. Looks so soft, so plush. <laughs> This one's going to be very fluffy. It's going to have some texture too. That's nice. Although if you do add texture like this, do expect to wait a bit for it to dry. that cloud to this cloud because they're friends. And then just for some accent, I'm going to go in with some white in here. Not on every part of the connection, just a little in some places. If you're not too careful when you're putting paint on your canvas, it will create a mud-like look. So I'm just trying to get to, just trying to get some mutedness in this connection. And you'll see why later, because once that, well, I'll just tell you now, because once that tree comes in, I want it to really pop. Okay, so I think I can give this some, while this sun dries, I'm going to go in over here. But again, you got to clean my brush. Got to make sure your brushes are so fresh and so clean. Okay. We need a smaller brush, actually, for our moon. We're gonna have a moon very similar to the moon I created in Starry Night. I'm gonna put it right over here. So nice. And so I'm gonna create kind of, kind of clouds. I'm going to put some white down just to kind of give our night some depth because you don't want it to be straight blue. I mean, if you want it to be straight blue, that's fine. Again, I'm not here to stifle creativity. I'm only here to give you some inspiration and slight direction. That is it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of my blue and a little bit of my purple and kind of mix it together on my palette. I'm doing like this, just so I'm creating a different happy shade between the two. And I'm gonna go in like this. This one's definitely way more abstract than the previous painting. So feel free to do all kinds of stuff with this painting. I'm just adding some depth. Add some up here. I personally don't like like a bright bright white on the on the side of the nighttime so I'm going in quite a bit with my different colors but keeping them all in the cool tones I mean if you want to be braver than myself and put some reds and pinks in here go for it 
I'm staying over on the cool blue purples. And once you feel like you have sufficiently depthified, <laughs> it's a word, uh, your nighttime, let's go back to the sun, which should hopefully be dry enough to add our yellow. Want, you can mix just a teensy touch of orange to that yellow to create kind of golden color. Yeah, that looks good. The sun shining. <laughs> Again, I sing, I cannot help but sing when I am painting. And there you go, we have our sun. Now, we're gonna let it dry just a little bit. <clears throat> and then when we come back, actually, no, while that's drying up here, this area hasn't been touched much, and you'll see why, because I am going to go in with my black and add our ground. I'm gonna bring, pop this forward just a bit. Ah, there we go. And just, you can be as creative as you want for the ground. You can create hills, mountains, whatever makes you happy. But you don't want to go too high because you don't want to cover up your skies and the tree that you'll be adding in. Create a hill. And if you'd rather not create a tree, if you want to do a tower like you did in the Starry Night painting, feel free to do so. And if you do decide to do something other than a tree, let me know. Post it onto our Facebook. That could be our Fort Bend County Facebook or our First Colony Branch Facebook. I very much want to see what you create. I want to see how creative our patrons can be. So now that we've laid down our <laughs> groundwork, sorry, I love puns, um, we are going to build our tree. Okay, so there's two different ways you can do your tree. I am personally fond of creating the leaves for the tree then working on the actual tree. So that way I know how much I've covered and what kind of branches I wanna work with, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna clean one of my brushes, my bigger brush, to create our leaves. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is go into my black with a slightly big brush I'm gonna try and make sure there's not that much on it, on the brush. Don't put too much paint. Keep it real light. And we're just gonna create bundles of leaves, foliage, if you will. Again, make sure there's not too much paint on your brush. You don't want it to be too thick. just wherever you feel you want a branch to go, leaves, 
whoops, think about how wide you want your tree to be. Remember when I first did this painting, I was absolutely terrified to put my, my paint on the canvas. I was like, but what if I don't like it? But I ended up loving it. It came out beautifully. And you, again, you do not have to do it this way. This is just a personal preference. If you want, you can make your structure first, then fill in with your foliage. But what I plan on doing is after I build my tree and its branches, I'm going to see if it needs any more foliage. And then after that, you are done. It's a very simple painting. All right, we're going to stick with that for now. And I'm going to build my tree, grow my tree. Right down the middle. Give myself an outline, a direction to go in. Hopefully your uh, connection between night and day should be uh, dry enough to do this. And it is. Still use this brush for my branches. Let it go in. And if you need to, you can use a smaller brush to get the strokes you want. And I'm quiet because I'm just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. You can be nervous. Just be brave enough to do it. That's all that matters. black to my palette. It's running a bit low. Night and day. I say that about all paintings. I like all the paintings. <laughs> And what I'm doing to make sure I get those thin lines is I'm flattening the brush with my on my palette to get that thin, thin line. And just confident strokes. We're gonna pretend like we know what we're doing. <laughs> Let's go in and add some here and there. Again, make sure you don't have too much on your on your brush. with 
this one I can still make some branches. Foliage, trees, leaves. Okay. I think this is starting to look a bit more like how I'd like it to. Add just a little bit more just right there. I know, I keep going, I'm like, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. <laughs> Once you get me started, I can't stop. Tree. Let's go over this cloud a little bit. The cloud won't mind. You'll enjoy the leaf, friends. Okay, and that's it. I do believe I have given this tree enough foliage. I'm feeling it. Okay, so. Again, once you're done with your painting, you're going to get one of your smaller brushes. If you have one, if not, that is a-okay. And I'm going to grab just the tiniest bit of some red with a little bit of white. Lighten it up a little bit, make it gentle pink so it can be seen. And I'm going to put it right here. You can put your, your name wherever you want. I'm putting mine right here. I'm just going to put E-M-I-L-Y. There we go. And that is it. That is your fantasy tree. I hope you had an amazing time. Remember, you can find more of our virtual programming at www.fortbend.lib.tx.us. Thank you so much for painting with me. I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Have a great day. Bye.